are one of the survivors of the coronavirus pandemic, which started not so long ago. We saw all the struggles and problems humankind has ever experienced. But have you ever wondered where it all came from and where it all started? Well, you just came to the right place to know all about the virus. June Almeida and David Tyro were the people who first coined the term coronavirus. The name coronavirus was derived from Latin corona, meaning crown or leaf, itself a borrowing from Greek coroni, meaning garland. The virus already existed with the most recent common ancestor way back in 8000. But some say the common ancestor already existed way back 5 million years ago or more. The virus is said to be natural and came from an animal through spillover infection. It is thought to be originated from bats. In 2019, the first human infections were found in Wuhan, Hubei, China. A study on the first 41 confirmed COVID-19 official publications from the or World Health Organization. Their part in the beginning of the by the virus, so we should be aware on how people are infected by this virus to prevent its spread. The virus is transmitted through droplets. It occurs when an individual is in close contact with someone who has respiratory symptoms and is therefore in danger of getting their mucosae or conjunctiva exposed to potentially infected respiratory droplets. Transmission of the COVID-19 virus can occur in direct contact with infected people and in direct contact with surface within the immediate environment or with objects used on the infected person. COVID-19 affects different people in different ways. Most infected people will develop mild to moderate illness and recover without hospitalization. On average, it takes 5 to 6 days from when someone is infected with the virus per symptom to show. However, it can take up to 14 days. Seek immediate medical attention if you have serious symptoms. Always call before visiting your doctor or health physician. This problem led to virus challenges not only to medical experts and researchers, but for the whole community as well. But how do people cope and interact with one another during this crisis? How can we fight this battle together? Scientists, researchers, and medical experts. Once the big news of a new virus spread across the world, scientists and researchers became challenged, especially in seeking truth about the virus and its origin in order to come up with a vaccine to end this battle. On July 7, 2020, experts from World Health Organization traveled in China to make a scientific plan in identifying the origin and cause of the virus. Up until now, these experts continue to work together in finding possible vaccines for the said coronavirus. While the researchers and medical experts look for a vaccine, we have the frontliners who protect and help their fellow people. These frontliners are the doctors, nurses, pharmacists, staffs, guards, soldiers, policemen, and other public servants. Those who work in hospitals and drugstores work together to treat those who are sick. Those who work in the field like guards, soldiers, policemen work together to ensure peace and safety. Those who work in public agencies like a bank also work together to serve their fellow people. 
As students who are still learning the ways of life, we can do something during this pandemic as well. Simply by staying home, following our leaders, and by studying well in order to help the community in the near future. Researchers who discovered the virus are still working very hard, collecting evidence to whether the vaccine that they are working on is safe and effective is what takes so long for researchers to develop a vaccine. It's a race against time to develop a vaccine amidst the pandemic. It will take months or maybe years too.